if you want to try Unity games on your phone while you're debugging them, you want to go to the Google Store, like I am here, and search for Unity Remote. Uh, there we go, and then you'll find that there's two. Uh, you want Unity Remote 4. Unity Remote 3 is a bit crap. Unity Remote 4 is a little bit less crap. Uh, install it. Um, it's only 8 meg, shouldn't take it long to download. Um, so when you when this is uh, downloaded and installed, you then want to open this. Uh, so here my phone is doing all sorts of shades of crazy stuff. Just wait for it to install. There we go. So just open this, uh, and then when you're on this screen, you want to switch over to Unity. So now I'm on my computer. Um, if you've installed the Unity Remote on your phone, it probably makes sense to open it on your phone and have your phone plugged in to your computer before you open Unity. Uh, it's, I seem to have less problems if I do that. Um, and then what I like to do first is just check in the preferences, if you're using Android, um, that the Android SDK is set. Now this shouldn't make a difference to you debugging on your phone but when you come to build and stuff like that it'll make a big difference so uh, that's an important thing to check um, the other thing you might want to check is your build settings that you're set for Android or iOS but again to debug on your phone that shouldn't matter you can even debug on your phone when you're using when you're writing for Mac or PC or Linux so to debug on your phone you want to go to file oh no, edit sorry project settings editor so it's this one here and then this opens the editor settings in the inspector and it's this top one that's important uh, mine's already been set to any device any android device but by default this is none switch it to any android device um, and that's it's ready to try on your phone uh, if I press play now the usual stuff happens so I have got my game here uh, but also what you can't see here is that it is uh, also playing on my phone I can just record my phone for a second and so this is what it looked like when I recorded my phone it's a little bit laggy on uh, your phone because it does screenshots uh, rather than a live kind of feed but it still works so when you quit you go back to this uh, Unity, there we go, Unity Remote.